The word on the curb is Sukiana was out here trying to be Griselle De Negro, and they didn't lock that bitch up in JT's old cell. <laughs> Let's talk about it, baby, with my cute ass. <laughs> Cause this is a big deal. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. Oh shit! Here we go again. Okay, why, why, why do I always do something so weird? Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Ah, uh, y'all remember on uh, Parker's when Countess Vine used to be like, that's my shit. Okay, but anyway, what's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not been here before, which I'm pretty sure you or somebody watching next to you have not been here, do me a favor, do us a favor, my Jawbreaker fan, by uh, us, I mean them. And like, comment, and subscribe, and do me one personal favor and turn on my post notifications so you can be alerted when I upload a new video, girl. Happy Thursday, y'all. I got a lot of energy. So, as y'all can see, girl, before we get into the things, um, yes, I went and got my hair done today. If y'all have not seen the live when we was went and got the hair and the feet done today, um, it is posted. We vlogged today as well. So, um... Tell me if y'all like it in the comments. I did a little style with it, uh, you know, try to, try to, you know, I wish I don't, I don't know what I tried to do here. But anyway, I thought it looked cute. That's not why we're here to talk. We're here to talk about Miss Sukiana, baby. Okay, Suki with the good coochie. Okay, Suki with the cell, doc, cell block D coochie. Now, uh, listen, baby. Suki, honey, come on in the room. Have a seat, baby, because I got to talk to you. So... Sukiana was set to be on Baddies Caribbean, but at the last minute kind of pulled out and then jumped back in. And then, I don't know, I think she pulled out again. I don't know if we should expect to see her on the season. I don't think she's on this season, though. I think she kind of put her foot back in so Sapphire could get on the season. And then once they start filming, she jumped back out and ran. But, um, yeah. Today, on Thursday, okay, uh, April, was it 25th? 2024, Sukiana was arrested in um, Fort Lauderdale for <laughs> possession of ecstasy and possession of codeine with intent to sell both. Now, let me explain something to y'all, okay, baby, because it's about to get sticky. In order for them to charge you with intent to sell, see, possession is one thing, but once they attacked on that intent to sell, that means that you were caught with so much of this substance in such quantities that there was no human, there was no way humanly possible that you could have been the one doing this by yourself. Okay, you couldn't have been using all of these illegal substances for your own personal use, baby, because you would have died if you tried. Okay, that's what that means. It means that they call baby girl with pounds of shit. Okay, so, well, not necessarily that, but you know what I'm saying? They caught her with a, a substantial amount of it. With, with that being said, Suki, the people is saying in the comment section that you left baddies to go be Nino Brown. Now, I don't know how true that is, sis, but if it is true, makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You will probably wasn't paying her nothing about, what, 50, they said, what, 50 to $100,000? I'm pretty sure she was making more than that selling when she was selling on them streets. But Suki, this brings up a very controversial topic that I've been talking about for the, for the past few months. And y'all have not been believing me as I've been talking about it. These rappers is going broke, okay? These motherfucking entertainers are going broke. The, the male rappers is going broke. That's why they over there faking all that damn beef trying to sell some uh, albums because ain't nobody buying the male albums. Everybody focused on the female rap, okay? Then the female rap is only dominated by a few at the top and the rest of them is scrambling at the bottom starting fake beef just to stay relevant. Hey, Stunner Girl. Hey, Asian Dog. We finna talk about y'all in a minute. But um, you know what I'm saying, girl? It's just real tricky out here in these streets, baby, all right? And everybody is out for a dollar and I don't think nobody is, is interested in making it the honest way, okay? Ain't nobody interested in writing a, uh, writing a hit verse no more. Ain't nobody interested in hopping the charts no more. Ain't nobody interested in actually building a fan base no more. In case y'all have not been following along with the way social media is going, I feel like people are more concerned now with trying to 
prove that they got something, they're actually having it. You know what I'm saying? They so concerned with trying to prove that they got something. They don't, they're not actually having it behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Before I did all of this, I made sure my bank account was okay. You know, I ain't trying to say I'm on Sukiata level because I'm not. I don't play at that level. Okay, baby? I'll be the first one to say it, baby. I play in the tens of thousands. I don't play in the millions and the hundreds of thousands or whatever y'all playing in. I ain't up there yet, but I'm on my way. But with that being said, I say all that to say this. I think Sukiana built up a lifestyle, you know, doing rapping and being on um, 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 love and hip hop and stuff like that, that she just could not afford no more. You know, $100,000, well, you will burn through that very quickly, living a lifestyle that these people live. You will burn through that very quickly. You know what I'm saying? Living a lifestyle that a rapper lives, living a lifestyle that a, 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 actress lives, that kind of stuff. These people taking private jets, spas, security, you know what I'm saying? Hotels here, hotels there, car service, uh, 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 eating out every night, every day, three times a day, four times a day. That adds up. Taking a team with you, that adds up. So I say all that to say this. I think that Sukiana was just trying to keep up with a lifestyle that she could no longer afford. And instead of humbling herself and mentor her fans, look, baby, um, I got four kids I'm trying to raise and I got to go ahead and uh, scale back a little bit so I can stop with the jewels. You know, I got to pawn a few necklaces, pawn a few wigs, bitch. You know, auction off a few wigs, I mean. And um, really scale back so I can support my kids. She chose another route to make ends meet. And that's sad. You know what I'm saying? Because now you got this on your jacket, Suki, and you're going to have a hard time. Once reality TV is over for you, once you know what I'm saying, they said she's 32. I didn't even know Suki was that old. But, um... Uh, yeah, you really, you definitely too old to be out here de uh, dealing dope and, and uh, um, trying to play, trying to play Nino, baby. You, you definitely too old for that, sis. You was not, you out here trying to play Pablo Escobar, baby, at thirty two with four kids. That is very irresponsible. Somebody with your platform have this many kids looking up to you. You know what I'm saying? You have stood on so many heels um, that you have, you know, uh, 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 risked your career for, it, especially the one with N NBA YoungBoy and stuff like that. So with that kind of stuff, not NBA YoungBoy, what's his name was? I'm sorry, NBA, um, YK Osiris. So with that kind of stuff, you built up a, a following of young women, you know, a following of, of, of feminists and you got to represent for these folks. You know what I'm saying? To some degree. So you out here getting caught up in these kind of big, bad scandals, baby girl. I don't know how you're going to bounce back from this, Suki. Your fan base, your ratchet fan base not going to care. They're not going to care. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of the networks that you was working with might care. Love and hip-hop might care. Mona Scott might care. You know what I'm saying? Or they might exploit you <laughs> even further. I'm betting they're going to exploit you even further. But um, it's sad. But you know what I'm saying, Suki? At some point, you have to get out the game. At some point, just like you got to get out this street game, you got to get out this reality TV game. And I think you should plan for the future. You know what I'm saying? You never know, sis. You might need to go get a nursing degree and go get a job at the local hospital, baby. And they pull up your record and now you got dope dealing charges um, all up and down your record, baby, because you out here trying to keep up with a lifestyle that you can no longer afford. Let's humble ourselves, celebrities, okay? I said ourselves, bitch. Ha! <laughs> Act your tax bracket, baby. Okay, so uh, <laughs> humble yourselves, girl. No, for real. Humble yourselves. It's okay to scale back. It's okay not to live in a mansion that you cannot afford just so you can impress people who you don't even know. It's okay, baby. It's okay. We know that times is rough. We know music ain't selling like it used to. We know everybody is downloading y'all shit illegal. Y'all only making sales off of y'all. I mean, only making money off of y'all performances. We know that. We know that. We know. It's okay. And we know the music industry is so oversaturated right now that when they go down the list of, of popping artists to, to book for something, you know, a Sukiana just don't make the top of the list. You know? A lot, and it ain't just a Suki. A lot of y'all artists do not make the top of that list. Do not get looked at by promoters, but y'all don't want to admit it. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, Krishan Rock. So, with that being said, sis, I just feel like this. Y'all, humble yourself before God have to humble you. Humble yourself before your fans got to see you get broke down in front of them like this. You know what I'm saying? Before your fans got to see you get humbled in front of them. Humble yourself. It's okay to admit that you ain't got it no more. It's okay to admit something else. And learn how to invest y'all money so y'all ain't got to reinvest it in the street shit. Okay? Suki took her uh, baddies each check and ran straight to the corner. Okay? Just like an old hood bitch. Ran straight to the block. All right? Whoo, Jesus. But they said she got a $7,500 bill, so I'm pretty sure she's uh, buying, so I'm pretty sure she's out right now. I know it ain't nothing to, a, to somebody selling that kind of weight 
baby, uh, to come up with 7,500. So I'm pretty sure Sukiyana is out of jail with her kids and chilling at this point. But um, you're going to have to deal with this, Nasuki. And it's sad because, baby, I saw bright things for you. I think that, you know, you could you could actually get your shit together, Suki. You really could. And you could be something. Because this is a dead end road. That's definitely a dead end road. Selling, selling, selling drugs, Suki. What? Like, it's interviews with Sukiyana giving rags to riches stories. Bitch, where? How you telling rags to riches story, bitch, and you still struggling that bad to where you got to go back to the, to, to the plug and re-up? Your legit money ain't long enough to where you can get off them streets, baby? What's going on? I don't know what's going on, Suki. I don't know what's going on. But here's the deal, baby. The money you're getting, little girl... And I'm calling you a little girl because that's what you acting like. You're not acting like a 32-year-old woman, mother of four kids. Bitch, you acting like a little girl. Little girl, the money that you got from Zeus, you should have went and opened you a hair salon with it. A hair salon and got you four motherfucking stylists or five stylists. Put them in there, charge them boot for him, bitch, and start making you a profit. Okay? You could have opened two, three of those, bitch, and you could have been sitting back chilling. If you don't know how to run them, you can hire somebody to run them. While you go off and do your reality TV shit and just come back and collect the money. Y'all have to learn how to flip your money. You have a fan base of ratchet bitches, Suki, who get their hair done every other day. Okay? Black women change hairstyles like they change their panties. Suki, you could capitalize off that. All right? Hell, you could, you, your name is Suki with the good coochie. Good coochie lingerie. There you go. Do something else, girl. Because you got four kids to raise and they can't be losing their mama every time you want to uh, uh, impress somebody and go get a new Birkin or get a new wig, okay? Or help Sapphire pay her car note. But girl, I know this video wasn't really entertaining or like funny or nothing like that, but baby, I just, you know, it's not really a funny entertaining situation because this can really ruin her life. It can really end her life. And that girl got four kids. It's not really something to play with. At the end of the day, this is not a laughing matter. Suki, you get a you get a good lawyer, baby. You get a good lawyer. You get a good lawyer. And um I hope they let you do some 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 house arrest, community service type deal, probation. I hope it's not something when you gotta go do some time, because like I said, she got four kids. Okay? A couple years away from them, girl, they be grown when she come back. Uh, yeah, this ain't the time for you to be doing time. You need to think. You need to think about stuff like this. Do we? Th I ain't gonna judge you, boo. I don't know what you got going on over there. I don't know how many families you taking care of, how many households you taking care of. I know that when you are a, a big breadwinner in your immediate family, uh, people rest on you. You know, you the first. You the first number people call when they need help. So I don't know how many numbers have, how many people have called your number and how many people you have extended yourself to. You know, I don't know how many people's rent you paying. How many, it might not just be Sapphire Carno. I don't know how many Carno Sukihan over there paying. Okay. How many kids she putting through college and her family. I don't know none of that. But at the end of the day, Suki, if whatever you got going on is causing you to have to go out there in them streets and do dirt like this, stoop this low, Baby, you need to reevaluate your life. And then you and your mugshot smiling or, or uh, grinning. What you grinning for, baby? Suki, you 32. Now, the reason I said I ain't going to judge you, baby, because I'm not, I'm just not. That ain't my place. But at the same time, it's like, And for those people who say, oh, you say you're not going to judge you, but you judge her. No, I'm not judging her. I'm pointing out her the wrong, okay, in the situation. I'm pointing out the wrong and where she needs to know to go right. That's where I'm pointing out. Judging her will be saying, oh, bitch, you ain't shit. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing, you ain't nothing ass mama. I ain't saying none of that. I'm not judging her because I don't know why she did it. However, your actions were not indicative. They're unbecoming of a lady, sis. 
just unbecoming of a lady, unbecoming of a mother, unbecoming of a reality TV star. And honestly, to tell you the truth, Suki, it made me look at you different. And I think that's why I'm kind of upset with you because I looked at you as one of the celebrities that was kind of up here. I knew your rap career wasn't nothing, but I thought people booked you just for your personality. So I thought you were still getting bookings. I thought you were still getting money. I thought you were still in a lap of luxury. I didn't think you had, I didn't think you needed love and hip hop. I didn't think you needed Zeus. I thought you was just doing it. Sis, if you needed to check that bag, you should have just stayed on Baddies Caribbean. You want so bad to not be seen as one of them Zeus bitches. One of the ones that need that check. That I need that money, Frankie. You know, one of the Mariah Lynn's, one of the honors. One of the, you know, one of them. You wanted to be looked at as, as a celebrity, as a as a Tommy, as one of them. Well, I mean, we found out Tommy was selling pussy in Baltimore. So it's just bad, girl. Suki selling dope. Tommy selling pussy, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Rolly gonna be selling plates in a minute after goals get through with her. Y'all, ah! Uh, it's too much. And I honestly don't know what to say. Because at the end of the day, you can't save somebody from their damn self. Suki that had too much money at her disposal. She should have been flipped that legally. Okay. I don't know what to say, baby. Get a life coach. Get a financial advisor. Get some. Get get a pastor. Shit. But I'll talk to y'all later, baby.